This is an RDEC uh, TCU. Uh, it has the 512 kilobyte of flash. And in, seven years ago, I made a video using the BDMNT to read and write the flash as well as the E square. Now we have Unink NT, and I ordered this unit from eBay to make another video showing this device, uh, the Unink NT, to replace the BDMNT. Um, there is a bug in the previous version and the 1.34 has this bug fixed. So now we sh should be able to read and write the flash here. I'm also going to show you there is an issue with the watchdog and how to disable the watchdog when you to uh, access this. First, let's like, take a look. This is the BDMN connector here. Uh, the, this is 12 pin, but the f top 10 pin is uh, standard BDM uh, connector. And here is pin one. So in order to make the BDM connection, uh, Union County had this jumper wire and, and the, the, we can hook up the ground on the bottom row and the reset pin. So ground is on either three or five. And then the reset pin is the, the blue one goes to seven. And the first pin is, uh, first pin is BEER, which is purple. Sorry, the top row. The, then the clock, clock is green, go to the fourth pin. And the next one is the uh, freeze. Freeze pin is gray, so we can hook up gray here. And then the TDI and TDO, or they call DSI and DSO. Uh, I'm messed up with the JTAG pins. So the connection is like so, and you can associate with the, uh, the software. So 12 volt has the ground pin, uh, in here, I use black here. Ground pin is connect to the third, 34 pin on, of this here. So this, this is on the second row, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we go here and clip on. And the 12 volt is the 55, which is the uh, this side, the second row here. And we can hook up the Union Canty to the USB. And then I'm going to power on. So now we can hit detect. And you can see we cannot detect flash as well. We cannot keep the BDM on forever. So I can try again. You can see the BDM on is uh, stayed on for a while and then off. <clears throat> in the video seven years ago, I used the resistor to connect the reset pin to the 12 volt and someone said this could be dangerous. And in this video, I found another way. Uh, there is a reset pin on the flash as well, which is this side. And what I found is I used a 27 ohm, 27 ohm resistor, 27 ohm resistor to connect the reset pin and a 5 volt here and i'm going to solder this wire off the camera i have soldered the 27 ohm resistor from here to the 5 volt here uh, a short bridge like so and now i'm going to connect the u-link nt and the power on the 12 volt now i can select the uh, detect you can see we can get the flash detected. Um, th there are two versions of 29F400BB, and this is one. So I, you know, detect it. Then we can read the flash first, and this will be the content of the flash, as well as we want to read the EEPROM. So this will be EEPROM, and we can save it. So save the EEPROM. as well as save the flash. Now this configure has been modified so we can support the fast programming. And let's do the, uh, write the EEPROM first. We click right 
and it's all empty we can verify and e prime's empty as well so now i'm going to erase the flash and this one is empty as well now the all the flash and e prime has been erased and let's put the flash first and we have modified the configure so it's it's fast programming now so let's do the erase it takes about two seconds and the programming takes about two seconds as well this is uh, 93 kilobyte per second and let's verify the flash and flash is programmed uh, by the way unlike the ecu we need to pull up a resistor for the uh, for the flash to uh, to enable the read and write this flash does not this is amd flash and now let's go to the ex prom and we can verify if it's, it's wrong because we it's empty now let's write it and three seconds oh three kilobyte per second and it's done so all in all there are two issues uh one is Unink NT, you need to use 1.34. The other one is you need to uh, disable the watchdog. Uh, the safe way now we found is you need this uh, 27 ohm resistor, or maybe 30 you can try, to connect the reset pin to the 5 volt. The early version we used is use like 150 ohms resistor from reset pin to the 12 volt. And uh, since it's a 12 volt, it can, you know, harmful to the BDM NT or Unink NT if you are not careful but with the 5 volt uh, this device is quite safe to uh, to use and it BDMNT also works with the setup and the power will be on the side 12 volt and ground is on the side